All right, folks, welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween. Today begins fucking weird week with uh, 80s Cheese Fest House. House. MD. <laughs> All right, so the story of House is that basically some time prior, this Vietnam War vet turned famous author has had uh, his son disappear, which has caused a rocky relationship with his wife, the famous actress. And he's basically sunk to doing book signings in a hardware store. His aunt dies in the house where she raised him. So he decides to move back into the house so that he can focus on writing his book, which is about his time in the Vietnam War, as opposed to the fiction that he got famous for writing. And after he moves into the house, he starts seeing all sorts of crazy, insane shit. And it's just, it's 80s hijinks for a very long time until he goes into a pure dream logic world where his old buddy from Vietnam, who he declined to mercy kill, is actually the force that kidnapped his son from their pool in their old house and is holding him prisoner in fake dream Vietnam. And he's some sort of crazy zombie. So the guy comes out, he has to find his own power and refuse to not believe and refuse to believe in the bully, at which point he gets to defeat the zombie, he gets his son back, and uh, makes it out. I think it was actually the house that he, the kid was stolen from. Not his old house, but his aunt's house. Yeah, but there's no reason for the kid to be at that house. I know. But I'm pretty sure it was that house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were there. And he was kidnapped from the pool of the house. Well, the point is that the story is a little bit flimsy. I actually really like the effects. I really like the big monsters. They're weird and fun. And I really like the main character. He is just... He starts off very normal. And then he just gets silly. And it's amazing. Um... Like, he just rah, all over everything. And it's so good. Like, he is a great physical comedian. I love it. And I really love that big fat lady. It's like, give me a kiss. <laughs> just, I liked her a lot. What'd you like? The effects were pretty good. And I really liked the sort of comically irreverent slapstick horror that they were using. It reminded me in a lot of ways about just the over-the-topness of, like, Evil Dead. But a little bit on the lighter side, whereas Evil Dead was still fairly menacing, this is just, like, almost fluffy horror. It's a lot of fun to watch. Things I didn't like. The story. Like, he told the synopsis way better than the, the um, movie actually did. The whole Vietnam thing, I was kind of like, oh, this is not important until it was like, oh, it's important. They really didn't introduce that friend enough for me, um, but I think that's more my fault. Um, my biggest problem is, is the movie's called House, and it ain't about the house. I mean, they don't talk about why the house is this dimension to nowhere. It's about his Vietnam dead war buddy uh, kidnapping his son in his house, in the house. I mean, the house didn't really do much of anything. I also did not like the makeup on the Vietnam War body, the dead guy. It was a big mask, and whenever he talked, the mouth went like this. It was like, no, not for me. I don't know. The only really problem, like, really the only problems that I have with house, and I've seen this a few times now, is that the story is incredibly flimsy. It's mostly just a set piece for the hijinks, and the plot that facilitates that is of low secondary importance. I kept waiting for something important to happen, and I didn't. Um, I would say it's a pretty good movie, though. It's fun. Go ahead, watch it. It wasn't for me, but it's a name brand. You should probably see it at least once. All right, folks, thanks for joining us on Modern Horror's 31 Days of Halloween. Fucking weird week got started with a little bit of a confusing note. But uh, let's see if the week continues and gets any more mind-bending. With Toxic Avenger! Join us next time for Citizen Toxie. Cheers. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons Speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you